Oh my god. I'm driving Miss Daisy. Oh my god. Hello everyone, welcome to Command Wolf Gaming. I am CWG and welcome to Trailmakers Early Access. Now, there has been an update as you can see right here on the screen. Um, there's a block hunt. Basically, we have to get to the end in sandbox mode to go and uh, get these certain blocks, right? And then we got some new blocks. We got a go-kart seat, armored seat, operator seat, and cockpit reward from block hunt. Uh, three new wheels are available in sandbox race and death uh, death throne modes. Uh, water races. We got two new uh, tracks that involve water. Uh, and then we got a quality of life. You can now build and repair on water and build what well, has better. Well, okay, that's good. So let's get into sandbox mode and let's get looking. Hey guys, welcome. So, um, you guys wouldn't believe how much time it took me to get these new blocks for you guys uh, in that whole challenge that they had going on for, uh, the new, for the trail makers in sandbox mode. And uh, it was all for you guys. I got it done. And uh, honestly, here's a clip of what I had to do on, uh, and to get the one block for you guys uh, to show you on the, uh, on the run. No! No! Yes! 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 Huh. Finally! You see how crazy that is? That was crazy. But that was the only thing that you really had to do. The rest of the uh, blocks are opened up. It's just It was just really the, uh, the seats. And let me show you uh, what we're talking about when we say seats. These are the seats. They're very magical seats. You know why? So first off, you got the armored seat. Now the armored seat is that if an explosion happens, you are not ejected out of the seat at all. So uh, now I, I've tried this in water already, and uh, no, it, it doesn't work uh, as a submarine. So unfortunately, can't use that yet. Uh, can't use a submarine anything for the submarine as of yet like you saw in the last episode uh now the next one is the uh kind of like a it's suited for basically being a pilot really you know um you know, like a lot of the aircraft that are flying everything we use in a standard normal block which is this one right so we can technically use this one now 
to be and it actually kind of it looks r really cool compared to the old one and i think that stuff also stops uh, the leaning effect uh so you're gonna have to work around uh, that effect um work around uh, that item without having the you know the effect now the go-kart one i believe it's a, a, a uh what's it? yeah it's the lightest of the go uh blocks this go-kart one right and it's actually for smaller builds so like if you want to build a go-kart right let me just get rid of this and uh, this one does nothing special it just it's just the looks it looks kind of cool you can probably make a jetpack out of it that's pretty much it for that one so what else did they add here let me actually move over here so the other things that they added right were actually more wheels this is truck wheel drag racer wheel a slim wheel uh go-kart wheel it's okay so let me show you what the what whoa all right let's clear this up let me show you what they had in the beginning so they had the regular wheel right and they had a racing wheel which pretty much the same size they are the same size so one slick uh, slick and one screwed Next one is the monster truck wheel, which is, as you can see, proportionally bigger than the other two. The next and final one that they had was the go-kart wheel, which is a very small wheel, right? For a very small vehicle. Uh, now what they did, they added a slim wheel, right? Which actually kind of reminds me of like the early wheels that you saw on uh, uh, those, uh, what's it called? I forget the races that they're called, but uh, like uh, it reminds me of those type of wheels, a very small, a very thin type of wheel. Uh, most aircraft had them. Oh, God. It's going to kill me if I don't uh, look this up. So let me look it up real quick. Okay, so I, c I couldn't find out uh, the one that I was really looking for, but... Uh, the information that I found is kind of like the sports and touring cars. And in fact, I'm actually going to uh, throw up a couple pictures here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Like the very thin race car design. And actually, I think a couple of uh, early airplanes use this uh, type of wheel as well. Uh, so the next thing we have is the drag racing wheel. So it's pretty much the same size as uh, maybe a little smaller than the tractor tire. Yeah, it's a little smaller than tractor tire, but it's smooth all the way around. So really, if we... Uh, like I have a dragster already so and I have the tractor tires on there so I can actually switch the tractor tires out for these because these are meant to be used on that type of car now in the last tire we have is truck tires right which is pretty much the same size as the monster uh, not the monster uh, as the drag racing car uh, car but it's at just as thick as the rest of them uh, as the regulars so these are kind of like that would be for more of uh what you might call it uh, uh of regular trucks like pickup trucks and stuff like that so and i'm now i made a giant wheel <laughs> so the this one this one this not that one this one these three new tires are definitely added in so yeah it's, so we get to play around with some new tires now on top of uh all the water stuff I, i've and on top of all the new seats which we have right here the cockpits and stuff and uh actually i think they did a couple more uh more updates not just those um let me just look through here oh it looks like they did change up the look of the guns a little bit so it looks like th this one looks more like an artillery piece and this one looks like a more like of a handgun design this small one and this big one so that's that's pretty cool and did they add a new armor p now i don't think so i doubt they did um uh, let's see i think there is one more thing that uh, they did here um as in adding blocks so 
Mm, okay, I don't see anything uh, real quickly. No, I, I don't see anything like the else that they change. Oh wait, hold on. That's a that's a small tail fin. Oh, okay. So they it, it looks like. Okay, so they added small tail fin design too. Like, look at that. Ha! Go figure. Um, now, I know what they actually did. They actually changed up some piston stuff as well. Uh, for us who want to use the pitching, uh, piston, but want to have it in like a certain set or design. So what I'm going to do, let me just make up a quick setup. Now, typically, you wouldn't be able to do anything with this, right? You physically got to turn everything and it will return to a neutral position. But with this new update, you can actually go in here, right? And if I do have full screen on here, uh, auto reset, we can do auto reset. And we can also do, hold on here. Got a little issue here. I can't see actually my bottom of the screen. Hold on, let me fix it. Okay, so uh, it wasn't the issue that I couldn't, I couldn't see the bottom. Uh, the issue is that uh, it wasn't paying it close enough attention. On the pistons themselves, we can actually set the start position. Like we have this at one, right? So that means it extended all the way out. So let's just drop it down all the way down to zero, right? Now, if we reset that, now the piston starts out in the retracted position and then all I have to do is go like that, extend it out and it goes up and then it goes back down. I actually hit down so. So that's it so we can actually physically change up our starting position for the piston itself which actually leads it to actually go oh, better some of our creations that rely on that piston to be in that first position either retracted or partially retracted or anything like that we can change it now another thing that we have here is that actually the hold position uh for the hinges so um now if you remember my tank actually let's instead of using this we'll actually bring up my tank for All this right. piece so here's my tank fully armored and everything heavy as two now this will rotate left and right now if I see how I'm tilting back and forth right but as soon as I let go it automatically reset uh, sets it all the way back to normal flat position so they actually uh, uh, made an update for this and the update is to actually change these right so that you can have them hold into a certain position so if i tilt back now look at that I, i'm not holding the key i can guarantee guarantee you see clapping my hands and uh it's holding position like look at that like seriously <laughs> that's pretty good so now that if we're in a tank battle uh with pestilence again i know i lost the last one I can actually hold with the, uh, the position to better suit uh, my me, me firing upon him. So, let, so let's actually change our position. Okay. And I don't, I don't think they did anything with that. That doesn't look new. That looks uh, kind of old, honestly. So, top of seat. There we go. So the first person cam. If we go like this, beep. Yep. <laughs> Just as I planned it. So, oh, another thing that I noticed that is, uh, let's say you do destroy your vehicle, right? Like so. Now, if I move over here, right now my vehicle is destroyed. If you hit the uh, reset button or repair button, it spawns in a new vehicle for you. Like, that's pretty nice, you know? Uh, uh, I think I'm glitching to the ground. That's resetting. There we go. I didn't realize my actually vehicle was super. Or I don't remember it being this heavy. Huh. Go figure. Anyway, 
So, now what else uh, did they do? Well, it seems like that's all they really much, uh, pretty much did. But I think they also changed up on one more thing on uh, what's it called? Uh, the rotating servo, right? So let's just equip this to a seat. We're gonna take out one of the new seats because I want to use one of the new seats. I'm gonna put that on there, and we're just gonna put a simple turret on there. Right there. Right. Right, left, right, left, r right, left, right. See, and it returns to original position. Not holding a button or anything, not do anything. See? Now, if we go back to build mode, let's check this out. And we hit this, click configure. Oh, we can do uh, hold position here, and we can actually turn this angle all the way up so that it, we don't have to rely on okay oh 90 degrees or whatnot it can now turn a full 360 that's right full 360 and there, there seems to be a little issue okay don't know if it's just me Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, okay, never mind. It's working fine. But yeah, so now we can do that. You know, we can change up that one servo that I had on uh, my tank and, and just replace it this with this one and just change up the configuration of it. So very good, you know, uh, very excellent. Now, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to delete that. <laughs> So what else can I do? Well, there is another thing. Now the thing is, I want to test out um, the explosiveness of uh, this new seat that we have. I want to see how well it works. All right, that didn't work out. Yes! Okay, as you can see, my vehicle did break, but I'm still in the cockpit, and I can respawn, and certainly do it again. Wow, this really well balanced. And there we go. So, that's actually pretty cool. Now, I do want to try something else. I'm going to take that off there for now. Delete that. And I actually wanted to take a look at the, the other cockpit, like a little bit closer than I did right here. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks like it's such a cool cockpit. You know what? I got an idea. I'm going to go to the race island, and I'm actually going to go and uh, do... Uh, do some uh, try 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 out the new wheels on Race Island. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's see here. So, the new wheels that, uh, that we have was uh, the Mons, was it the truck wheels, right? So I do have already it, kind of like trucks, all right, right. So this is one of my builds, right? This is a wall climber that I typically use, right? I actually use this a lot in the uh, to get the cockpits, so. Just going straight. All right now, let's go. Okay, so it went pretty far up. Now, just to make it fair, we're gonna go reset. We're not gonna use any downward thrust. We're just gonna use regular engines. Okay, so we're gonna go right here, and we're gonna go. Okay, so that barely went past the top of the bottom portion. So we're going to go here. We're going to delete these wheels. Like so. And then we're going to use the truck tires. So truck tire. 
truck tire and not exactly what I wanted but close enough oh because the spacing's wrong in here okay like that so as we can immediately see you see they are lower to ground looks like I can s almost feel a visible difference okay visible difference <laughs> oh my god I'm losing my mind okay so starting from here back wheels on here now I'm going up and from a dead stop to a full climb I pretty I went farther than what uh, what the normal monster truck uh, truck tires did so and let's do it again bring Again, without any assist from the wall climbing equipment or the thrusters or anything. So, here we go. Going up. Yep. Pretty much. We went, we went further than typical monster truck tires that we would normally use. Now, just to, uh, for easy comparison, we're actually good. Uh, we're going to put the regular tires on here now. And we're going to run from there. It was... Yeah, and we're going to see how far we can get up with here. Again, doing the same exact method of, well, uh, climbing. So let me just change these. There we go. One, two, one, two. Uh, right over here. There we go. Now, first thing I know, yep, super low to the ground. Now, these are all the traction the, uh, tires. These are not the racing tires. I'm not comparing the racing tires. I'm just com uh, comparing the traction tires. So, let's see. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. If we take a look at it, they're pretty much the same height but i think the reason is is because we got more of a run-up all right guys so i found a better spot that piece of wall over there wasn't really good so i'm just going to start from the bottom i'm just going to allow it to roll to a complete stop over right here and then i'm just going to drive up as far as i can okay not bad pretty much halfway up the wall And let's just take these off. I'm not using them right now, anyway. So, wheels. And we're going to do the truck wheels. Like that. There we go. And again, we're just going to let it roll to a stop. Alright, so it's pretty much at a dead stop. Let's get going. Let's see how far we can get up now. Alright, so it looks like we can get up just as high. Oh, we got a little higher. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta get a good, 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 good look at this. Stop, stop. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Yeah, okay, yeah. We definitely got higher than a normal tires. Just not a lot, but just a little bit. So let's just uh, trash this, right? And then we're going to pull out the normal truck tire one. This is the monster truck tires now. Now, they did say that the monster truck tires, not the monster truck tires, the regular truck tires actually have more traction than uh, the monster truck. So, which it looks like it does. It does have a little bit more. Uh, it's hard to tell, honestly, because it's not like I have a buddy here or like a couple buddies here do, uh, trying out the tires. Uh, uh, together in a more in an equilibrium kind of way but uh, now with the rest of these tires right the rest of these tires the slim wheel drag racer wheel uh, I do want to go to the racetrack and try them out and see how they work 
there. All right, guys. So here I am. I'm at the drag uh, strip. Now, if you guys remember in the one episode, I actually uh, did a pretty good uh, race here. Uh, but it looks like now they ended up changing the leagues. So it would only show, I guess, the most recent league. I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is not why I'm here. I'm actually going to uh, go and take out one of my dragsters that I made originally to uh, do this and I'm gonna compare it against the new wheels so let's uh, just grab my dragster where is it okay so this is my original dragster right all brains and no power I mean all power and all brains right so and we're just gonna race with this and then we're gonna change up the wheels so go we're gonna just try to get it as normal as normal as we can get so that was a 7.236 race right so let's change this up take these wheels out right and we're going to put the drag racing uh, tires on here now. And I think that, yep, that's right there. And there. Now, I'm trying to do this so that we get an even run each time. So, again, it was like 7.23s. Now we can see a definite improvement in, in our time. It's 6.824. Now we're just going to double check double check that real quick. I'm not trying to beat the gate. I'm not trying to do anything like super like cheaty or anything. I'm just trying to compare notes. That is not what I want to hit. There we go. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Yes, okay, so we definitely see an improvement in speed in regards to um, the new tires. Now, I do, I, I do have like a weird question here. What if we, instead of using the normal cockpit like we usually use, right? Let's see here. This weighs 31.8. This weighs 25. Get rid of that. Let's see if we can actually improve our time using this aerodynamic uh, cockpit. And let's get rid of these tires. Right? And we'll use the slim tires instead. Because typically with drag racers, you got very slim tires on the front or very small ant. Uh, slim tires on the front and then you got the big uh, wheels on the back and a, like a open cockpit to save on space so now these are couple improvements so let's see if we can get uh, our time below the 6.783 seconds so let's just roll up here there we go come on come on come on Okay, so it definitely looks like we didn't improve on our time with that, at least. But it looks pretty dang cool, if I do say so myself. Let's just... Yeah. Let's, let's try that again, just to see if it's going to be a repeat. So, I do wish that it would, like, set yourself up in the right direction. So... Again, not trying not to beat anything out the uh, gate or anything, so. Come on. Looks like it takes a little longer to get up to speed. And I think uh, the reason why is because it's not, it's not the weight. It's just these tires. Since they're thinner and they have less traction with the ground, it's more than likely that those tires are not given enough um, momentum to go and get the necessary speed. In fact, let's so let's switch back to these regular go kart tires. 
And let's see how we do here. Okay. Okay, here we go. I think I had a little bit of a false start on that though. Yeah, 6.302. So let's actually go back. And we're gonna... I was trying to reset myself. Honestly, I wish with the drag races or any of these uh, races, they would automatically set the, we, uh, the vehicle to the right orientation so that you don't have to re manually set it again. So right after one and it says go, we're gonna go. Okay, here we go. All right, so it doesn't look like there's uh, the improvement with uh, that. I don't know. I think the reason is because uh, maybe we don't have enough uh, traction uh, on here. Like we had that spoiler up here for a reason to actually force the wheels further down into the ground to gain more traction, to gain more speed, and so on and so forth. So I, but for the most part, I think the drag racing tires worked as intended you know it worked as advertised so they are definitely uh new pieces so uh, you know what let's try hmm can i no i cannot i was gonna say it can i attach it a different way so that i can hmm, no i was gonna try to attach it a different way so that we can uh, use their down dynamic piece but then i would end up adding more weight on anyway so that is pretty much it and you know what in fact just for some giggles i'm gonna actually make a weird looking go-kart Okay. Two, one, go. Come on. Woo. Woo. Yeah. Come on. Woo. Nice. 26.217. New record. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was a fun little race. Okay, so let's delete that. On a, let's let's change this up a little bit. Let's let's try to fix the way here. Because uh, that was that was funny. I find that funny. So let's try it again. Oh I'm driving Miss Daisy. Oh my god. Oh, Archipelago. Oh, that's a new race. That's right. 33.353. Oh my god, that's so funny. I beat my previous record. Alright, so uh, one last thing. Let's uh, delete these tires. And we're actually going to uh, put the go-kart tires back on here. Not the racing wheel ones. The go-kart tires in comparison. Now, the uh, go-kart tires is the smallest one out of here. And these are kind of more like a bicycle tires or old-fashioned tires. Like, I call them old-fashioned uh, tires because it reminds me of the wagon wheels, right? Wagon wheel tires of back in the day when they first started uh, doing uh, cars and everything. And... Uh, yeah, kind of like of that. So let's roll up right here. Two, one, go! Come on! Nope. 
So I was also fixing the wheels too much, so let's try that one more time. Right, with the go-kart. Two, one, go! All right. All right, so anyway, the, that's pretty much it. You know, that's all pretty much it for the update. And uh, as we can see, this one is not as fast as the other one. But there's a reason behind it is because of the size of the wheels. Oh, wait, hold on. I got an idea. I got a weird and stupid idea that I want to try out. If this looks so stupid, but... There we go. Oh my god, it's a little dragster! It's a, what's it called? A, a rat car. That's what it is. It's a little rat car. Right? Look, it's open, go-kart, big wheel in back. <laughs> oh my god. If you guys don't know what a rat car he, he, uh, is, here's the picture right now. Come on, come on. I don't know why I'm concentrating so hard. It's just... It's actually going a little faster than the regular slim tires. But just not fast enough. Yep. Not fast enough indeed. Anyway. Oh, wait. Was that the fastest? Really? Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. What is this called? Go kart league. How can you get a go kart up to 5.988? What? Okay, you know what? We'll leave that for another time. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in today here on Command Wolf Gaming. If you enjoyed what you saw here, there's actually going to be a poll right here in the top right hand corner. Right, asking about if you enjoyed this video today. And in fact, there's actually going to be a bunch of cards here. One's uh, going to be a poll early on, uh, early on, asking about um, if you guys uh, enjoy watching Trail Makers on my channel. Uh, you know, if you are or not, whatever. Um, there's also going to be a playlist selection in there uh, randomly. And also, we have the poll for the whole video right now right here in the top right hand set, uh, corner so make sure you fill out that poll and then, you know what? i'm going to save this go kart so i know what you guys like so i can uh, cater to you guys the guys and gals the viewers yeah, and because you're my beloved wolf pack i love you guys you know so uh as always we have patreon patreon.com slash command wolf gaming that's right patreon.com slash command wolf gaming um all we're looking for is that one dollar per month that's right one dollar per month to help keep the channel running and the more people that donate the uh, be uh, better i can uh, get i can get better equipment and such and uh so uh you know just Donate for the cause, you know? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm also thinking about uh, just starting back up uh, the Geek Review, which is an, actually another uh, channel that I have here on YouTube and also as a regular audio thing that I do uh, on iTunes. Um, and here, that I'm hoping I can do a link right here in the top right hand corner with that. So if I can, it will be up there. And also it will be on the end screen as well for you guys who are interested in that. And that'll be, and I'll be doing more like techie things now, like drones and cameras and stuff like that. So let's drop by, you know, see how it is. Um, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what, uh, what you saw here. And as always, like, subscribe, and share. Spread the love, and I'll see you next time here. Whoop here on Command Wolf Gaming. Now keep your hand off that mouse folks. We have so much more fun and exciting content on this channel that you guys and gals are missing out on that it's not 
funny. So all you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button right down below this video. Also remember to hit the bell notification button. You can't miss it. It looks like the Taco Bell bell just without any color. And with doing that, you are officially subscribed to my channel, Commando Wolf Gaming, and will receive notifications on when new material is up on my channel for you guys and gals to view and enjoy. If you like what we are doing, hit the thumbs up button. If not, hit the thumbs down button. But remember to always leave a comment or a suggestion down below in the comment section. I want to know what you think and I want to hear what you guys and gals want to see in the gameplay. But as always folks, like, subscribe, share, and spread the love. And I hope to see you guys next time here on Command Wolf Gaming.